What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Mike Powers back with another installment of the Mike Powers Show. Today, we're going to get into how I missed the boat on how bad Griselda actually sucks. Yeah, apparently my ears don't work that well. I've been leading y'all astray. I fell for the wave and the marketing and Griselda actually ain't that high, at least not as hot as you and I both thought that they once were. <laughs> Apparently they suck. But before we get all the way into that, let's talk about the big announcement real quick. I finally passed 100 subs. Thank you all so much for each and every one of you that ever clicked the video and especially those of you who subscribe to this channel. Let me know that you want to come back early and often to find out what's next on the agenda. While we're at it, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, your first time on this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Punch the like button, you heard? Turn on your post notifications so you will know each and every time I drop a video. I'm about to get into the action of this real quick. But before I do, I would be remiss if I didn't shout out the brand new subscribers to this channel. Again, we hit a hundred. People might say, what's a hundred? People got millions, thousands, whatever. I'm happy if it's only 30, if it's 40, if it's two that can rock with me, that we share the same wavelength, that we on this underground East Coast joint. I'm happy just to be able to share that experience with you in that conversation, that fellowship we are a family but on to the new subscriber shout outs for this week read it off my phone right here tatsu one two three what's popping home boy i see you tatsu one two three uncle frame how you living thank you for subscribing to this channel uncle frame nathaniel landry very active in the comment section brand new out the box letting it be known we in the building nathaniel landry thank you for subbing to this channel tamika weber the females are coming over as well. We like that. Tamika, we see you. Ramses Armenta. Ramses Armenta. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. And this one guy whose name I cannot pronounce for the life of me, but we're going to give it a shot. Lil Avni Rogue. Lil Avni Rogue. It should be on your screen it's over here. <laughs> Good name. Thank you for subscribing. We had 100. Let's push our way up to 200. I won't be bugging you about that every single show, but now let's get into why apparently Griselda sucks. This guy's name, I might throw it up on the screen because I cannot pronounce it. It's a little bit irrelevant at this point. Small YouTuber, much respect to you for getting the grind on. Probably a little bit bigger than me, and I respect that. But I happen to come across this video on my timeline where Homeboy says some very interesting things. He started off his video talking about how he was talking to his cousin or somebody. And they was talking about, hey, yo, have you heard Griselda yet? And his cousin had a very interesting take on Griselda that he kind of also shared. Um, and he was like, oh, they kind of like the locks. The locks? What are you talking about? How the fuck are Griselda like the locks? And you see, this is a marketing thing. Just because you dress like the locks or whatever, or you dress like Hoven 97, <laughs> doesn't mean that you are actually Hoven 97. Now, if you anything like me, and I, I believe my family out here is sort of like me, then you is asking the same question I'm asking. What the fuck is this guy talking about? What do you, what is your cousin talking about that Griselda's basically like the lock? And then you come behind him and say, nah, they not like the locks. It's like a marketing thing. Just because you dress like the locks and you dress like 97 Ho, don't mean you 97 Ho. Who is out here trying to be 97 Ho? What the fuck is you watching? What movement is you watching right now? The Griselda ain't nothing like the lobby. They do East Coast underground hip hop, but completely separate aesthetics, completely different type of crew. And I can get more into that later, but let's hear a little bit more about what Homeboy had to say as it relates to Griselda. You know, you can fool casuals and shit, but you can't fool people that have been listening to hip hop. You know, Griselda, you can kind of come across as you are the new locks. But the reality of the matter is that if you're the locks, who's your Swiss beats? Derringer? Really? Nah. Would I even start with that garbage? Who is your Swiss Beats? Like, okay, Swiss Beats was integral to the Rough Rider sound, integral to East Coast hip hop in the 90s, fine. But if you a guy, a rapper, a crew that need to be defined by who your producer is, you not a crew or a rapper that's worthy to have my attention in the first place. Now let's get specifically to Derringer. Don't talk down on Derringer. You talk, you talk about, you could, you could fool the casuals. Let, notice the language that he actually said. You might be able to fool the casual, but you can't fool somebody that's been listening to hip hop for a long time. That's been listening to hip hop. Notice what he said. I've been listening to hip hop. You ain't been living it. 
This is my life, the air I breathe. I don't just listen to it, I'm involved. Eat, sleep, and drink it. You a casual, your damn self, what you talk about? With this garbage ass comparison, taking a movement like this and trying to discard it and throwing shots at the boy Derringer that's bringing nothing but heat. Fuck is you talking about? So, nah, you not the locks, okay? The locks are a different breed. Those are some creative, very intelligent niggas. Like they are not, you know, like what makes the locks the locks is that they're up here, they got a lot going on, and in here they got a lot going on. What the fuck am I missing? They the locks got it in here and up here. Have you followed the Griselda movement at all? Are you trying to say that Benny, Conway, Westside, they don't got it up here? Do you know Westside Gun is a genius? Do you know what he where he brought this crew from? Everything that he's put into this particular movement to make it pop the way it's popping. Do you know he's on that art shit? Do you know he's on that fashion shit? Do you know Benny transformed from what he was before to what he is now? Do you know that his voice is golden like rock him? Did you even stop to think about that for a minute when you're talking about these dudes trying to be the new locks, which they not. And then you want to compare the locks against Griselda. You want to kind of like make that a B. First of all, Jada and the locks and them and Griselda, they get it in together, first of all. But for my opinion, Griselda is a much stronger movement than the locks ever was. I'm going to say it. More bangers. More bangers. But my bad. Let me be respectful and sit back and listen because it's quite possible, homeboy, you got some very thoughtful, poignant things to say about hip hop and what's going on with Griselda. Why I should just not be so harsh and judgmental and just get to do the chance. Let me just listen to what homeboy got to say. I have yet to hear a beat from Griselda that is phenomenal and next level. Okay, fuck that. Now you just stupid, nigga. I don't know if you jealous, looking for attention. You sound like a troll. I'm gonna go through a few of them with you right now. Joe Pesci 38, go listen to it. Dirty Needles, Crowns for Kings, intro with 38 Special. Beanie the Butcher 38 Special intro. Go peep that. Luca Bros, Shower Shoe Lords, Gods Don't Bleed. Jeez, what am I missing? It's so many. Uh, half of it. Five to 50, did I say that? India. It's so many flame at, and I'm not even thinking of all of them right now. You ain't did your research, bro. Or either you have, or you're just looking for a fucking reason to hate. I have yet to hear one amazing record from Griselda. Their entire shit. I have listened to a bunch of Griselda songs. I'm yet to hear one that's like, yo, I cannot get enough of this record. Okay, I figured this out. Your cousin did not let you hear Griselda. He let you hear some other garbage and he tried to pass it off to you like Griselda so that he can get you on his side on the hating bandwagon. You couldn't have been listening to Griselda talk about you ain't heard one fire track from these dudes. Who are you and why do you have a fucking YouTube channel where you you feel comfortable opening your mouth and expressing these garbage ass opinions to millions of fucking people but go ahead continue they're trying to do what that like rock marciano does and rock marciano himself is not my cup of tea either not for me i think he's kind of trash but it's like you're selling yourself as being this new mob deep raw locks type of shit but in reality i know the type of shit that you're trying to do you're trying to basically do Rock Marciano all over again. Wait, let me get this straight. You think Griselda formulated a false image in order to promote themselves to the public and fool people into thinking that they are the new Mob Deep, but you said that they are a washed up version of Rock Marciano? And then you said Rock Marciano is trash? Bruh, when did you start listening to hip hop? Who are your influences? Who are your idols? Do you like Nas? Do you like Cool G Rap? Do you like BDP? Do you like Lupe Fiasco? Griselda is the new Mob Deep. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because when Mob Deep came, it was a whole bunch of grimy East Coast street dudes coming out at that time, but they did it different. The way they married the, those beats, especially on that first album, The Infamous, with the highly intellectualized lyrics of a guy like Prodigy, who says on Shook Ones that he's only 19 years old. The voice of it, the vibe of it, the feeling of it, the depths that this dude went to, not the surface deep. Everything is real inside my mind these days. You can't make it if you ain't affiliated with crime. A lifetime of street living throughout the years I've accumulated many slugs have been given but while it ain't the way to be living you're only gonna end up bloody on the floor shivering and locked up caught inside the beast meanwhile on the street saying no more peace I could go on and that was magic it was different it was elevated they separated themselves they became that movement the forefront of it the forebearers of it Griselda is doing the same thing there's a lot of dudes doing some east coast underground thing right now I would argue that Griselda is again more powerful than what the locks was it may be creeping up 
on that level of where Mob Deep was at because we live in a time where people don't even want to hear that East Coast grimy shit no more and they still rose to the top. They still got signed to Shady. They still ended up on Jimmy Fallon. They still moving units. They still selling out shows and you cannot find their merch. Dude. You are a casual, and we need to get your ass, number one, out of the fucking house of hip-hop, and disinvite your punk ass from the barbecue. It's not personal. I'm sorry, it's not personal. Maybe I shouldn't have went there, but you piss me off when you come out here talking reckless like this. Go point that hate at somebody else, not these dudes. And even that whole Griselda, that's Maybach music. <laughs> Rick Ross, like, that's those are the kind of people that listen to Griselda. So now they bit the aesthetic of the girl's voice from Rick Ross Maybach music. They they didn't concentrate on how deep the lyrics could be and how high they elevated the art form. Now they sat around and was like, you know what? Maybach music. Let's do Griselda. And that became the thing that catapulted them. That's the thing that's fooling us. Those are the kind of people that's listening to Griselda, motherfuckers that listen to Rick Ross. I don't even know if that's like for me, Rick Ross and Griselda so far apart. I don't even fuck with Ross like that too much no more. Like and most of the people I fuck with don't fuck with Ross like that. Ross get his respect. He got some bangers or whatever, but Ross is a little bit more in the background right now. And you think that's a wave that they was trying to ride? Nigga, are you stupid? Well, are you on K2 or... <laughs> You smoking woos? What the fuck we doing here, dog? Why is <laughs> like you can't fool me? You know what I'm saying? Like you, again, I always say this: you can fool casuals who don't know, bruh. You don't know. You willfully went on camera to make yourself sound like an idiot. What are you talking about? This is the most powerful movement in hip hop in the past 15 years. Fuck the sales. I could say the last 20 years. Fuck the sales. This is the most part in hip hop period. Name who the hell you want to name. Anybody that came out, Drake, Ross, anybody that came out in the last 20 years. This movement right here is the most powerful. Your ears are severely defective, my man. You don't know what the fuck you talk about or you're doing this shit on purpose either way this is reckless you know continue to use the same old producers like alchemist who again i respect alchemist alchemist has some great music he's done some great beats you know but he's not like a top top tier producer like that like he's not a primo he's not a timberland he's not a rizza is when you're rocking with Alchemist, who is actually years past his prime, let's be honest. So now Alchemist is not a top tier producer. That just proves definitively that you don't know a goddamn thing about hip hop. I know dudes that would give their left arm to get a beat from Uncle Al. If he is stamping you with giving you beats, that alone says that you are legit. Just the fact that Alchemist will bless you with a beat is saying, nah, you the truth. You should know that. But you so busy trying to be this holier than now, great poupon ass nigga. Shut the fuck up, clown ass nigga real talk with the whole Griselda thing it's just a retread of shit I've already heard and not done well with these sort of like cosign driven like oh I'm you know this I'm that when in actual fact really you're rock marciano you know your uh, watered down version of rock marciano so th that's an example of like dudes i meet on the street or i know in real life that i just cease trying to communicate with them talk to them or teach them because they really so uneducated about the art form it it's not to my benefit to waste my time doing that you talk about rock marciano first of all you say he not your cup of tea then you said now that griselda's basically trying to be a more watered down version of them rock marciano is one of the most phenomenal lyricists i ever heard in my entire life he might have crept into my top 10 he may have crept into my the way he does it look uh g rap kind of invented this this street east coast gangsters uh intelligent type thing nas took it to another level jay-z came with the conversational flow where he just spoke to you where it wasn't really riding beats he did sometimes but sometimes he was just having a conversation with you over that beat and that changed the entire game griselda is more on that gritty even though west side could be very smooth with the delivery but rock marciano is just that high level penthouse style flow that unbothered so confident that he don't gotta scream about it and the word play is at a premium on the rock marciano joints you mix him up with the beats and how he rides the beat how he lives with the beat how he and the beat is one in the same they breathe off of each other what are you listening to why the fuck are you talking but go ahead you know what i'm saying nobody rock marciano has been out all this time Nobody gives a shit about Rock Marciano. You can't use his name like that because at the end of the day, his name don't got no weight. You want to be talking about names I hold no weight, my man. You want to be talking about that shit. Don't nobody give a fuck about Rock Marciano. You're wrong. 
<laughs> You're absolutely wrong. That dude is on a wave of his own. Is he gonna sell four million records this year, three million? No, but that's the fucked up state of hip hop. The fucked up state of hip hop that guys like you drove us to. Fuck ass opinions like this going out for mainstream consumption is what's got people confused. I said early on, and this is off the subject, that the player Matt game was getting fucked up by these dudes showing up on Jerry Springer wearing them funky ass rayon shirts when they said your girl got something she want to tell you and you take a flight out there to sit down on stage and have that girl tell you something goofy like I've been sleeping with your best friend. Dudes going out there begging and crying. They messed up the player game. They started giving away too many secrets to the ladies. They started <laughs> making ladies think that it was more simps out here than it really was. You are doing the same thing with hip hop. You're contributing to this culture of demeaning and tearing down the good shit in our culture. You're destroying it like these fuck boys in these rayon shirts on Jerry Springer. You don't know what you're talking about. You show a whole disregard for this culture and how important what's going on right now truly is. We don't need you. If these guys come out with a song tomorrow that's amazing, I'll tell you because I'm not the kind of person, it's not personal with me. Well, it's personal to me, nigga. You didn't pick the wrong one. Don't fucking come for Griselda. Talk about if they came out with a hot song tomorrow, you would show up and tell us. Nigga, how would you even know? Your ears are broke. You actually have a video on your channel called Lil Baby and Benny the Butcher are the same whack artist. That's real. Yo, here's the funny part. The funny part is you saying that they trying to ride a locks wave, trying to convince people that they're the new locks, that trying to convince people that they're the new mob deep. You say they're not the new mob deep. They are the new mob deep. Motherfucker. You trying to say that they're trying to be a watered down version of Rock Mart. You trying to say that they're trying to be all of these different things. You trying to say they inauthentic because they grab it from this, grab it from that, trying to it's such a garbage take, number one. But did you stop the thing for a minute that nigga you are using the Griselda wave in order to try to give views? Now it can be argued. <laughs> it can be argued that I'm doing the same thing. I, I tried not to early on not to fuck with Griselda so much because I wanted to build this channel off of something else, and we still doing that. But yeah, you can look at my channel and say, yo, you riding this Griselda wave to at least I'm showing the respect that these guys deserve at least i'm bringing something forward that's beneficial to the culture at least i'm at the forefront of something that's very important at this time in hip-hop history and i'm doing it in the right way that's my opinion but my opinion about you is you are actually using griselda the people that you say you hate in order to get clicks on your fucking channel either you know goddamn well that they're not fucking garbage or you just being a contrarian like for some reason you don't fucking dig it but it's a lot of artists who i don't necessarily fuck with them that tight but i know the value in the music that they bring to the table like e40 i don't really fuck with e40 that much but i'm not about to go around here trying to make videos about how e40 is garbage because that's not my cup of tea because e40 is not garbage a lot of people like e40 and i can see why they do it just ain't for me you say rock marciano ain't for you but then you say rock marciano was garbage nigga you garbage go into the settings and youtube studio and scroll down to the bottom where it say delete this channel and get the fuck off the platform if this is the type of deranged lunacy that you're trying to pedal off as a serious opinion to the people because you talk about what Griselda's trying to do, how nobody ain't checking for Rock Marciano, nobody's checking for you, and your word don't hold no fucking weight. And whatever it held yesterday, today, it holds even less. And when this video drops, which is right now, it's going to hold even less. I done got at your fucking throat, nigga. I'm on the front porch. I'm in the front yard. Get at me. Griselda is that wave. I'm not a fanboy. I'm just going to recognize the thing for what it is and give props where props is due. You came for the wrong ones. Unintelligent, uninformed, broke ears, garbage channel, great poupon ass, holier than now, fuck boy ass nigga. And with that, I'm Mike Powers. I'm out.